Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. As you could see by the title, today we are doing an extremely honest and hopefully very in-depth review of Kylie swimwear. So if you guys didn't already know, Kylie Jenner launched some swimwear. I feel like it's about a month ago now that we're filming this because it launched and then I bought it and then the shipping took a while and then it took me a while to film it and then it took me a second to post it. I know what you're thinking. Hmm. That's kind of a unique time to launch swimwear. Sort of at the beginning of fall. I mean, don't get me wrong, people wear swimsuits all the way throughout the year, but I feel like spring and summer are kind of the hot months. So it is a unique time to launch swimwear, but she launched it now, so we're gonna review it now. I do not live under a rock. I have been seeing Kylie Swim getting a fair bit of heat in the media. So I'm kind of prepping for the worst because you guys know I kind of hate hating on a brand, but this is gonna be an honest review. If I see something that's no good, I will tell you guys because I don't want you guys wasting your money on a product if it's no good. I'm gonna break down a few of the claims that I've been seeing and then we're gonna unbox what I bought because I bought quite a bit. So first thing that I saw is the styles of the swimsuits in general are getting some hate because they're not seeming to be body inclusive. It just doesn't fit everybody very well. Another thing I've been seeing is that the fit is wrong in one <laughs> spot in particular and that is what's covering your bottom half like the very bottom is too thin and it is a little alarming. <laughs> Third thing I've been seeing a lot of is that the swimsuits are see-through, which- Please God, no. Please don't be see-through. I did not sign up for that when I bought swimsuits. And the fourth thing that I've been seeing is damaged products, whether that is like threads coming loose holes in the swimsuits, that sort of thing. So I actually have a second camera set up so we can have a close up of the unboxing because I don't just want to put the pieces on. I want to kind of hyper analyze and like really look and see if there's any threads coming loose or kind of like sewing errors, like those sort of things. We know Kylie Jenner's wearing great quality stuff. So we expect the stuff she's selling to be great quality. And it sounds like Kylie Swim may not be up to that level. Of course, I'm gonna keep my mind open and I'm gonna stay optimistic, but I'm a little concerned. So, okay, without further ado, let's dive in to this box. The first thing, which I don't think I can blame Kylie for, this little itty bitty box racked up $155 of customs on it. How did that happen? I order quite a bit of stuff, as you guys know, and I order heavy boxes of tiles to my house from like the UK, and I don't get that much customs on it. Do the brands have anything to do with the customs? Because I swear I've shopped on brands before, and it said, hey, do you wanna try and offset your custom fee? Pay $20 up front and we'll pay $20 up front to cut down your custom fees. That makes me feel like the brands have something to do with it. Like they know that it might rack up customs. I don't know if that has anything to do with the brand or if it's just Canada's problem, but I was shocked. So warning, fellow Canadians, this might get a lot of customs. Okay, so here is the inside of the box. I mean, I love, I love these colors. They actually kind of match my earrings. Oh my gosh. I feel like we should touch on the first thing, which is the style options. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull them up. So we have a few one piece sets. We have the cut it out, which is this style. <laughs> and then we have the Keikos, which is this. They're all very strappy. That's what I've definitely found. And then August, which, oh my gosh, that one's gonna look hideous on me. I sure hope I got that one because that would be worth a laugh. This orange one named Kylie, which I actually saw a picture of her in that one. And then we have really, really basic triangle tops with these bottoms to go with. Very bright, almost like highlighter style colors. And then some sarongs, which I was actually, that was probably the product that I was most excited about. And then cute kid swimsuits, which is nice, but it's not that nice. If the rumors are true and the fabrics are see-through, then I'm not putting no kids in these swimsuits. Now I feel like to judge these styles is a little bit of personal preference. Maybe I'm just not a fan of cutouts and a lot of straps going on. I feel like these are very 
elevated lounging one pieces. Whereas when I'm about to wear a one piece, I probably want to throw down in the pool. So these don't fit my personal agenda for wearing swimsuits. So for that reason, I'm not a huge fan. Nonetheless, we are going to try them on. So you'll see how they complement my body. So I think we need to dive in and just see. I don't even remember how many I got, but let's look. Okay, let's start here. I have no idea which one this is. I kind of think it's the cut it out one piece. OMG, oh. <sighs> like I heard they were thin, but I didn't realize that they would be this thin. Holy, holy crap. This is a thin swimsuit. <gasps> Highly. Also, sorry if it's raining. It is definitely raining. The skylights, I think I might have to block them off because when it rains, you can like hear it. See, you probably heard that. And I've been waiting all day for it to stop raining and it hasn't stopped. So I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it's just like a vibe and it's calming throughout this video for you. Uh, it's annoying me. Okay, but this is the cut it out swimsuit. This is $80. This is actually the one one piece that I thought wouldn't look absolutely terrible on me. Okay, here is the swimsuit. The tag is adorable. Loving this color combination, but honestly, I probably couldn't care less about the tag. I'm more concerned about the product. Let's just look because a lot of people we're finding like a ripped seam and things like that. And so far I'm not seeing any problems with the make of the swimsuit, which is good. That's what it should be. Obviously the swimsuit has no padding in it. So there's no separation between your skin and like the outside world. You know what I mean? The fabric on this one is definitely extremely thin, but I don't know, actually, uh, it just, is see-through kind of. Like, can you see my fingers through there? That's a concern. Okay, I think we should just throw this one on and see how it looks. I am gonna be wearing my bra and also some like my nude color pants, just because I don't feel like bearing all on the internet right now, especially with the concern that these are see-through. So shield your eyes, everyone. I'm about to put this on. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, you look so good. You look really good in that. No, really. No, really. It's like really doing a lot for your body. Okay, so I feel like I definitely made the right decision to wear my bra and some pants. These were supposed to be like a minute, but they're actually picking up a little bit of like a purple hue, but whatever. They're pants just basically. So this is an X rated because as you can see, it would have been. But I feel like also these layers underneath are pretty small that you can probably imagine what they would look like if they weren't there. Don't picture it too much, you might get scarred for life. But here it is. Here's this swimsuit. Take a look. Let's chat about it. Like I fit in it. My bottom half, my top half, it all fits. It's just not one of those swimsuits that is flattering or comfortable. I think actually now that I have it on, the idea that this like leg piece comes up to the top is sort of fun. I have to give Kylie credit for that. If she is the one that designed this idea, I have no idea. We're obviously thonging out a lot. I don't have a problem with, I don't personally wear it, but that's not my issue with the swimsuit. Like if you wanna wear a thong swimsuit, be my guest. My problem is it does feel like it gets very thin, like coming in here. I suggest a liner and a little bit more fabric in the front. And if you're gonna sell a swimsuit like this, show it on many different sizes, not just one. But here it is. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think? Next, I got one of these triangle tops. Oh my, Kylie, you live like this? Wowie meowie, yeah. Okay. Okay, so here we have the triangle red bikini top, bikini bottoms, and a sarong, which actually, this is feeling 
Good. This feels very luxe, actually. I quite like this. It's nice and soft. The top is the same quality as that last one piece we tried on. These are just so thin. I can't really get over how thin this is. Like, this isn't even pulled. Just imagine if you actually had some boob in here. <laughs> I think the fabric is really nice and soft and smooth, but it's simply just too thin. I think if Kylie wanted to like salvage this a little bit, just take the exact same fabric and line it. Just put a liner in here. That's it. I do like the metal tassels on here and contrary to what some other people are experiencing, mine's really well made. Like I'm not seeing any fraying details to the swimsuit. It actually feels like really good quality. It's just far too thin. That's really my only critique on this. This is kind of one of the more simple styles, so I think I like it a little bit more. I did bring my favorite swimsuit for reference. This is actually from Walmart and it's amazing. It was like $10. So let's just see. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So here is like, <laughs> This feels so weird. Like if someone just walked in right now and you're watching it and this is the part they come in at, great. No, no, great. Like explain it please to them so they don't think I'm a weirdo. But here we go. My Walmart swimsuit, which I love and wear every day, which covers my bottom the way I would like it to and just enough is half, like literally the Kylie swim is half of the size. I feel like you're just asking to slip out of this. And I'm not talking thong, okay? Because I know that this would go up my butt, my butt crack, and that's fine. Like thong style, totally cool. I know a lot of people love that. I'm talking about where it actually covers your like vagina, okay? Or whatever, like whatever you have down there, this isn't going to cover very well. Not for long anyways. Maybe for an Instagram picture, but not for a run on the beach. Let's put this all on and see how it looks. Maybe I'll eat my words. I'm dishing out some serious heat in this video, so we'll see. Okay, here is this three piece set on. This is actually cute. I, I like this one actually. I think of course it looks weird with my bra. This is more of like a safety just in case it is see-through because rather than censoring the entire video, I'll just wear this underneath to be safe. But I like this. I really like this tie up sarong. It's so like luxe feeling. I don't know what I'm doing, but like so many different forms. These bottoms do feel a little bit thicker in the front just because I pulled them down quite a bit. But then again, now it's like quite low. And then the back, here's what they look like. There you go. I think they're actually supposed to be kind of more like this and then up a little bit more in the front. There's the sizing, but this is kind of nice too because oops, um, I completely fell out of my swimsuit and I'm flashing everybody. I'll just go like this. There's a little bit of safety in that. Do I think it's worth $40 for the top, $40 for the bottom? I wouldn't, well I did I guess, but I wouldn't again. Okay, next we have this orange Kylie swimsuit. This is probably the cutest one piece that she designed in my opinion. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Ah, come on, give me something. Give me something that isn't see-through. Haven't really mentioned this, but I do appreciate the fact that it is an adjustable strap. That's really important for swimwear in my opinion. So I'm happy with that. If this would have been lined and if down here would have been just like, just a teeny bit thicker, we would have such a okay swimwear line. Okay, but let's analyze the swimsuit and make sure there's no bad building mistakes here. So far, it looks pretty well put together. Oh, is this a spot to put padding in? Oh, no, it's not. I've got like a really long booty area here. Looking on the inside, just cause I saw like some people had like pulls here, but mine have all been really well made actually. Yeah, I'm not seeing any problem there. So that's nice. No, this one looks really well made too. This one gets an okay for well made. I think this is also the most expensive thing on the website, $85. It's $5 more than the other one pieces. I have absolutely no idea why, but uh, let's put it on. Cause that's the other thing with swimsuits is like, 
this isn't even wet yet. Like once it gets wet, it's gonna get more transparent. So I would be a little wary of this one. It's extremely thin. Um, that being said, it's actually quite comfortable and I think it fits well. Here's the back. We're seeing a theme here. It's kind of fun because from the back, it looks like it's gonna be a bikini and then boom, boom one piece connected the top half has quite a bit of bunching on the bottom which you might be able to see it looks a little bit ill-fitting on me i don't know if that's a me thing or if it's the swimsuit but it's just something that i'm noticing is like a lot of bunching and puckering under the boob area the top also feels very reminiscent of like do you remember triangle swimwear this feels like the same design as that on the top just like a different a completely different fabric because the triangle ones are like neoprene and that's like really thick would like almost never be see-through whereas this is a lot different but here it is Last but certainly not least, I got the August one piece. Now I thought it was really a fun idea for Kylie to make one pieces because I know I always see comments from you guys when I do a video of being like, can you please try some one pieces? I only like exclusively wear one pieces. They're what I feel most comfortable in. So I thought it was nice that she made one pieces, but I just feel like People who want to wear one pieces might not be looking for this type of one piece. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. This is just, do you, this is going to look so ugly on me, right? What is this? What is this? This is not a flattering swimsuit. Swimsuits already can make people feel uncomfortable. Like, I wish that wasn't the case, but we all know it is. Not everybody likes to be showing that much skin. I definitely don't. So then for something like this, like I would never feel comfortable in this ever and it's okay to launch swimsuits like this because some people like them, obviously, but if you want to have everybody excited about your swimwear line, do some diversity, like not just this. Do some other ones. Do something else. What is this? I like the yellow though. I gotta say I like the yellow, but I'm also most concerned about the yellow because I think it's see-through. Yeah, it's see-through. It's on the judgment, <laughs> the judgment table. Let's see. Am I gonna even be able to get into this? It's got quite a lot going on. Oh, okay, here we go. This is like our first sign of some problem here. Here around the crotch area, we have a little bit of fraying here. Honestly, nothing that would normally concern me. Like I would never even notice that, but that's the first sign of like wear on some of these swimsuits. So let's put this spaghetti noodle on. I just can't unsee like a banana hammock in this. I don't know why. When I first saw this, I was like, is that like a banana hammock? Cause that's what it feels like. Ah, there's so much going on. You know, you're having like that same struggle in a normal one piece bikini. Look at, like my boob would just be out. Look what just is happening to me. Okay. Oh, there, is that what it's supposed to be like? Something happened and the whole swimsuit shifted and now it feels like it's in the right spot. So I don't know what happened, but I'm not popping out anymore. Okay, anyways, to finish my thought, when I first saw this, I was like, that looks like a banana hammock to me. Like just remove this and this and it's like, Banana hammock. This one again. Oh no. Look at on the back. Oh, you can see the Kylie swimwear logo that's on the inside. Like it's right here. See? You can see through it. I knew that the yellow would be the most risky. If any of these swimsuits needed a liner, before they were sold and hit the market, it's the yellow one because, oh my gosh, that's so see-through. That's the first time I'm seeing that. That's a no-go because that is clearly see-through. Just wait till you get in the water. Not, not a good, no, no. Were these even tested in the water at all? Liner, 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 liner. Kylie, do you guys want to see what it looks like without the bra? Like, let's just see if it's see-through. I'm just curious. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is see-through completely. You can actually see my nipples completely. Okay. All right, we tried them on. 
Now let's talk about it. I gotta admit, I feel a little bit uncomfortable with how much I disliked the pieces because I know somebody worked hard on these, you know? Kylie's team, Kylie, I don't know. All I know is that it was a little bit of a miss. I think it needed a liner literally so badly. It's not even funny. I do feel a little bit uncomfortable with like how aggressive I was in this video, but I just really was expecting better quality from a billionaire. That's really it. Obviously, I'm not here to sell Kylie's swimsuits. I'm also not here to get in the way of her sales. I'm simply just here to tell you guys an honest review of these products so that if you guys make an order, you know what you're gonna get. I would say to definitely stay away from the light colors. I think the lighter the color, the more likely it is to be more see-through. I think the best one that I tried on was the simple triangle one because it really wasn't too see-through. This one was a little bit see-through. I would also say these swimsuits are made of a fabric that is not forgiving. In that way, I mean like it's going to emphasize any bump, any nook, any crevice, like anything. It's This fabric just like holds on to your body super tight. But yeah, I don't know if you guys are going to be shopping on Kylie Swim. If not, I hope this was at least a good laugh for you. And let's pick a charity. Today we are donating to the Okra Project. Over on their website, it says the Okra Project is a collective that seeks to address the global crisis faced by black trans people by bringing home cooked healthy and culturally specific meals and resources to black trans people wherever we can reach them. So that is today's charity. Just to finish off the video on a better note, we're donating to charity. I want to know what you guys think of Kylie Swim and if you've bought anything, which pieces were your favorite? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!